Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. Toast Wallet is shutting down. Yes, XRP Wallet, Toast Wallet. It is going kaput. Now, uh, I'm sure that a number of you listening to this are using Toast Wallet, and if you are, fear not, your XRP is safe, but you're going to want to be aware of what is, is going on here. So I'm going to be sharing this story with you, and it was apparently not a very happy ending, sadly. Uh, the operator here, not happy with Ripple specifically. I'll share with you the, the exact quote from them. And, uh, and then you got this story, which is a positive development. Binance adds multiple GBP pairs, XRP slash GBP included, which should be absolutely, ultimately fantastic for on-demand liquidity. Because uh, Binance, we already know that they absolutely, CZ has said as much, that uh, Binance will ultimately uh, be, uh, be a part of RippleNet utilizing um, on-demand liquidity. Before we go any further, if you would please delicately tap that like button, you know that I'd appreciate it. So uh, consider doing so. And uh, also, uh, I recommend that you go ahead and subscribe to the Moon Lambo channel, because if you do, you will experience eternal happiness and bliss. You want to have a part of that, right? It'll happen, I promise. Toast Wallet is a free open source XRP wallet for Android, iOS, Windows, and Mac. The project was launched in 2017 and reached 100,000 users by the end of the year. Which would be part of the reason, by the way, that I'm highly confident that many of you listening to this absolutely are utilizing Toast Wallet right this second. Um, it is a product of Starstone Limited, a software company based in uh, Doomden, New Zealand. Toast Wallet has announced that it is shutting down due to a lack of support from Ripple and Spring. On June 18th, Toast's official Twitter account announced that the wallet had been removed from app stores in protest at the abysmal treatment of community developers at Ripple. How about that? They are not pleased with Ripple. I haven't really heard this type of critique from anybody working uh, with Ripple at any capacity. Just not ever. And so, um, not that I can think of anyway. Um, no. I mean, there's, there's like fallout stories like Jed McCaleb leaving Ripple and you know, there's, there's things like that. There have also been people that have uh, sought to get funding through Ripple uh, through the Spring Initiative and didn't get that. And I've seen that, uh, you know, kind of sour instances there. But as far as a company actually working off the top of my head, I can't think of anybody that's been unhappy. But here's the, uh, here's the, the tweet verbatim from Toast Wallet, the official Toast Wallet Twitter account. Toast Wallet has been removed from app stores in protest at the abysmal treatment of community developers by Ripple. Existing Toast installs uh, will continue to work and funds are safe. We await a clear and transparent community developer support program from Spring. So um, my understanding, I'm not a tech expert, so uh, definitely research this on your own, but from my understanding and reading through the thread on, uh, on the Twitters here, is that uh, the wallet itself should keep working. It's just that it's not going to be supported in terms of actually being updated. So you can keep using it just like you could choose to continue using Microsoft Office 2003 if you want. You know, it's just it's just not supported. That's my understanding anyway. But uh, if you have Toast, please look into it further than that because I don't want to be responsible for anybody um, having some sort of mishap with their XRP holdings. But um, <clears throat> Ripple has been growing the XRP ecosystem by investing in various startups uh, through its investment arm Spring, Toast Wallet asked uh, for clear and transparent community developer support from Spring. <clears throat> While Spring's goal is to expand the ecosystem, it remains a private company, unlike initiatives uh, like the XRP Community Fund. Um, and so, yeah, so my understanding is that they did at some point have uh, funds from uh, Ripple Spring Initiative. So take take a look at this now, and here's the next tweet. Um uh, from from Toast Wallet. Thanks for all the replies. Toast is shutting down. Please move to another wallet. The source code will remain here. Now, Wietse Wind, who is the creator of the XRP Tipbot, he's the founder of XRPL Labs, uh, which is also funded through Ripple Spring Initiative. Um, he he responded with the following. And, and by the way, before reading this, um, if, for those of you unaware. Uh, he has created a sum, it's spelled X-U-M-M, -M, uh, which, which can be a, uh, a replacement for this. So, <clears throat> and it does other stuff too, but uh, here, here's his tweet. I'm really sorry to hear this, frowny face. Toast was the first XRP wallet I ever used. In consultation with Code Tsunami, uh, the creator of Toast, 
I'd like to share the procedure to migrate from toast to sum. X-U-M-N. Sum. I don't want to come across as a vulture. I'm sorry to gain some users this way. I don't think anybody... That's See, he's just a nice dude, and that's why I even said something like that, but I don't think there's anybody under the sun who would think that uh, we'd say one is being opportunistic in some sort of bad way, like he's swooping in like a vulture. No, he's he's legitimately helping people uh, that are, are going to want to migrate as a result of this all going down. So um, then he wrote some more. I'm not going to read these next two tweets from him, but if uh, this applies to you, feel free to pause the video if you want to read through this, and he talks about how to, to transfer the uh, the funds here. Um, all right, and moving a little bit further, um, here's a tweet from a Digital As- Asset Esk, ESQ, so it must be Esquire. Uh, we'd say, when thank you for doing this. No one knows the terms of your deal with Ripple slash Spring, and I'm not asking for this, but can I ask if there is anything you need from us to keep your business going? The last thing we want is for the same thing to happen with you. And we'd say, when actually responded, and he wrote, thank you. I appreciate that a lot. We will introduce some pro later this year. That'll hopefully allow us to run a sustainable business. Smiley face. In the meantime, I'm very grateful that we're good thanks to uh, thanks to Spring. So, uh, yeah, that's good. They've been sustained thanks to, to Ripple Spring, and I'm glad that Ripple, uh, through the Spring Initiative, see value in what we'd say when and... Uh, his team, there might just be two of them, actually. I can't. I, th- I think they're two or three. I can't remember. Uh, but they see value in what they're they're putting out there. So cool stuff on that front. All right. Uh, next, remember this piece? I covered this uh, when it came out six days ago. Ripple's on-demand liquidity service goes live with GBP. Yes, the British pound. Azimo confirms. And I, I'm not going to run through the story again, but I wanted to mention this. Uh, because these, you might, you might start thinking in a particular direction. Uh, just that's why I just, just wanted to remind this. Uh, I've got on demand liquidity live with uh, the Bridge Pound here. Um, <clears throat> shout out to XRP Crypto for sending uh, this link to me. It was uh, to Binance's official announcement of uh, these GBP trading pairs, including XRP. But I want to run through this piece from uh, Leonidas's website, XRP Arcade. Uh, and this one's titled. Binance adds multiple GBP pairs, XRP slash GBP included. Binance, the world's most popular exchange, has added GBP, pound sterling, uh, trading pairs on its platform. There's the official tweet from Binance uh, on uh, on your screen, right? Right, meow. According to the announcement, Binance opened trading for Bitcoin slash GBP, ETH slash GBP, um, XRP slash GBP, BNB slash GBP, and GBP slash BUSD trading pairs on June 19th. Uh, Binance already offers uh, the Euro, uh, Russian Ruble, and Turkish Lira XRP pairs on its platform, uh, Singapore Dollar on Binance Singapore, and United States Dollar on Binance.us. Uh, the GBP, I'm sorry, XRP slash GBP pair on Binance has been added to, to, uh, to our fiat pairs page. And so that's the reason that I wanted to mention that the corridor uh, uh, utilizing this particular fiat currency um, is is open, and we just found out last week, is because we already know that absolutely Binance is going to become um, a part of on-demand liquidity, and um, he thinks that they're going to be a notable player in this particular corridor. I wonder what the timing is going to be. It seems to me like Binance are doing all sorts of awesome stuff. I get it. They're 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 a great company. Uh, it seems to me the way that CZ's talked about this, like he he just wants to wait until things are a bit more established regarding on-demand liquidity, so that there will be more of a payoff instantly when they jump on board. Because obviously, exchange is the reason they want to be a part of this ecosystem because they make money on the buying and selling of these transactions automatically. So if you're an exchange, that's really cool. Why would you not want that? You might think, well, why isn't Binance just jumping on now? Well, they're doing all sorts of stuff, and it, you know. It just, frankly, it may just not feel worth it to them right now. And it seemed, and if that's the case, if that's the mindset that they have, okay, fine. Um, which is a shame because they could help to grow this out faster potentially, and then they could be um, a major player for this quarter. But instead, they're just going to jump in and try and get whatever share they can. I guess. I mean, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. They just—it seems to me they just don't want to be there in the beginning to to really help get things rammed up, which is uh, the opposite of what a, a cryptocurrency exchange like Bitso, for example. Uh, wants to do and now they're getting all sorts of fees from massive quantities of transactions by being in there from the ground floor but that's just you know to to each their own whatever as long as they ultimately jump on board at some point um i guess ultimately it's not going to be the end of the world 
Uh, to, it does make me wonder, when is that ultimately going to happen? To what degree does this all need to be built out before Binance is like, yeah, it's worth it now? Well, we shall see. That's it for this video, though. I am not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything, because of anything that I say or write, that would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo!